Recently, some pictures are circulating on the internet. The Zambian Air Force along with Chinese fighter pilots has been seen with JF-17 Bravo aircraft. And a team of six members from the Zambia Air Force has also started the trials of JF-17B aircraft. So is the Zambian Air Force really interested in JF-17 Bravo? Or they are testing another Chinese aircraft? Let's find out, but before going into the video's details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon to get more and the latest updates. In these pictures, looks like the Zambian Air Force is evaluating the L-15, a Chinese-made aircraft, not JF-17 Bravo. There is a major difference between the JF-17 Bravo and L-15 aircraft. The JF-17 has UK ejection seats plus Spanish EW and towed decoy equipment plus Western communications systems. An L-15 aircraft is totally Chinese-made, and all equipment is used in L-15 belongs to China. Six Zambian Air Force pilots have completed training on Hongdu Aircraft Industry Group's L-15 lead-in fighter trainer. As the first export customer for the type, Zambia will soon introduce it into active service. Hongdu, part of China's Aviation Industry Corporation of China, announced on December 28 that the first Zambian pilots and maintenance personnel had completed conversion to the supersonic L-15 Falcon. It appears at least one L-15 was accepted by Zambia, and six pilots were trained at the Hongdu airfield. Zambia reportedly ordered six L-15s in early 2014 at a cost of around $100 million. On December 26, 2014, Zambian Air Force officer, commanding Brigadier General James Zulu, confirmed that the type had been ordered and stated that additional SF-260 TW trainers, C-27J types of transport, and MI-17 helicopters would also be delivered. Between 1999 and 2012, Zambia received 16 K-8P jets from China and has received five WZ-551 armored personnel carriers from the Asian country. China has a close relationship with Zambia, especially after signing a military cooperation protocol in 1998 regarding the training of the Zambian army. The Chinese and Zambian defense ministers met in Beijing in July 2005, agreeing to continue military cooperation. The L-15 was developed to meet the Chinese Air Force and Navy lead-in fighter trainer requirements. In Chinese service, it will be called the JL-10 and will also be operated by Venezuela. The L-15 is powered by two of Chenko Progress AL-222K25F turbofan engines fitted with afterburners, giving a top speed of more than Mach 1.4 for underwing and two wingtip hardpoints can carry around 3,000 kg of ordnance. Zambia's small air force has few combat aircraft, with only a dozen MiG-21s and a dozen JSIXS in its fleet, although it is doubtful that the JSIXS are airworthy. Around 10 SF-260 MZS are used mainly for training. According to Jane's Information Group, Zambia's air force is hampered by a lack of spares and a shortage of flying hours. Although it has sufficient capacity to transport troops and cargo, its combat capability is very limited. Transport capacity was boosted by the delivery of five Y-12 and two MA-60 aircraft from China in 2006. So Zambian Air Force is not interested in JF-17 Bravo for now, but hopefully, in the future, they can acquire Pakistan's upcoming JF-17 Thunder Block 3, as Nigeria get JF-17S Block 2 aircraft, and they showed that they are comfortable with this deal and in future, they will acquire more JF-17s.